look like them trolls is about to go all in on Kusan Longstreet, right? So I don't know, y'all. I guess the Juju Lewis situation kind of shaky. They feel like he playing. And I feel like you he playing too. I mean, you've been down for Lincoln Riley this whole time. Like, get your mind right, boy. Like, it ain't no better place to play quarterback under Lincoln Riley. Like, you really considering Auburn or Colorado. I heard Auburn moved on to Deuce Knight. So you really feeling like you need to go to Colorado or prime time? That's a better path for you to the NFL. That's a better path to, to develop you at quarterback. Then maybe you ain't the guy. Maybe something is wrong. Maybe you ain't you ain't thinking right. So USC has been building a relationship with Hassan Longstreet. Now this kid, a baller out of Corona Centennial, super talented, super talented. Got a cannon like. I can say he's a better athlete than Juju Lewis for sure. Like dual threat for sure. Long streak, he got one of the strongest arms in the country with a quick release to go with it. Probably got one of the quickest releases in the country as well. He generates a lot of zip, velocity, power on the ball with little effort at all. Just a flip of the wrist like he got real cannon on his shoulders, right? And he kind of remind me of Caleb in the way that he could throw from different arm angles and is easily be e equally comfortable rolling out throwing right or left it don't matter right but he could throw off platform um different angles of the ball different throwing angles remind me of Caleb for real deal and he's that mobile threat you know Lincoln Riley love dual threats Lincoln Riley kind of slipping on this one he should have been on this kid from the gate he a baller right in our backyard too that's why that choosing one quarterback per class gotta go he got big hands he spins the football as consistently as anyone he's improving athlete and uses his legs as a junior a lot more than his first two years in high school you know what i'm saying look very comfortable in zone read situations he's accurate to the show and in either intermediate levels of the field but continue to he can continue to improve his touch on the deeper throws down the field right but the short and intermediate levels great right He's a very likable kid, a natural leader, and a great teammate. He has a strong off-the-field work ethic and projects as a power five starter with the talent to play for any school in the country. He is amongst the elite of the elite at quarterback. So I hope it ain't too late. You know, it might come down to a money thing. Like we might not have enough money to pull him away for AM. And he's like a, a class defining quarterback, right? That you could rally around. And I seen his Twitter. He he do seem pumped up about Texas AM. Like seem like he's excited to be there and happy to be there. And I heard that he's comfortable with that commitment. But at least Lincoln Riley and them trying and it's a whole season, you know, we might succeed, right? Texas AM might crash out again this year. Texas AM mess around and go five and seven, right? and usc show out and do good win nine or ten games in the big ten i mean we're gonna have the chance to pull i mean we always got the advantage that lincoln riley is the quarterback guru so he might choose guru and staying home over that money that texas a&m because texas a&m they got that oregon type of bag but he should know all the all them players that go to texas a&m they end up leaving have they great classes go and spread out around the country? Them dudes be in a transfer portal. Evan Stewart, Walter Nolan, Isaiah Rakes. This year after year, Texas A&M stack nice classes, but that class dissolves a year later, right? So why waste your time over there? Something ain't right over there. It must be a honeymoon phase. And after that, players don't be wanting to stay there. So maybe the culture ain't right. So maybe we could win him over, right? Hopefully he don't feel some type of way like, oh, I was just a cast off you. You just recruit me because you think you're going to lose Juju. But USC could come right now like Juju's committed. He's solid. You just that good. You know, Lincoln Riley got to turn his narrative like I usually only recruit one quarterback per class. 
But this year I have to uh, recruit too. You know, Julian Lewis and then Lincoln Riley, he gotta ha he gotta have that game on him, right? So you know, Julian Lewis originally supposed to be in the 26 class, right? So him reclassifying and this this, this happening on the fly. You know what I'm saying? So it may be look kind of sketchy that like you the second choice, but no, the, our first choice for 26 moved up to 25, right? But you such a talent and had a monster junior year right in our backyard. We gotta, we, I gotta look at you. I'm doing my due diligence. Don't take this as you, you second fiddle. Like we, we didn't get the prom day we want. Now we uh, asking you, no, you a great talent. Anybody watch this kid film can see he's a great talent. I really like him. I really like him. I mean, I'm not a quarterback guru expert. I leave that to Lincoln Riley, but I really feel like this kid is just as good as Juju Lewis, not even better. I know he's a dual threat. I know he got better feet. I know he got a quicker release. And he seemed like he got a stronger arm. I don't I can't tell just off highlights who read defense is better, but he's quicker. He's stronger. He's more mobile. He got a stronger arm and a quicker release. That's what he do got. Juju might got the IQ game. You know, certain things he may have in his favor, but this would meet the eye initially. Yeah, he's a better athlete with a strong arm. Right? That don't necessarily mean he's a better player, but to me, he looks more he looks more dynamic. It looks like his ceiling is higher. Right? Juju might got a higher floor, but Hussan got a higher ceiling. In my honest opinion, I could be wrong, but he jumps out at the film. What he has jumps out at, on film when he run any throw, his throwing motion, how quick it is, how he could throw darts. I mean, the kid's phenomenal. Like it is fun. It's fun. Like his highlights is fun to watch. A lot of quarterback highlights be kind of boring to watch. You know, it's nice to see. You know, throw touchdown at the touchdown without the wide. I get boring unless it got some sauce to it. He got some sauce to his game. That ball be zipping off. You know what I'm saying? He be throwing in the tight windows. He'll throw that 50 50 ball. He, he'll he throw in um, small windows as well. Like he ain't scared. He might early in his career probably throw a few picks because he ain't gun shy at all. He be slanging that thing. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's very willing to throw a receiver open. You know what I'm saying? So. I like the kid. It seems like he played with that, that type of moxie that you like or won't. So hopefully we can pull this one out the bag. Like I don't I don't even care what Juju do. Like even if Juju come, I still want to bring in Long Street. Compete it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Juju making us compete to the end with Colorado on them, so compete with Husan. Right? You say you committed to us. He said he committed to texting them, but everybody's still playing this game. Everybody's still flirting around this thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody's still flirting. Like, ain't nobody being, being faithful and loyal at this moment. Everybody just serious dating. Ain't nobody really made no commitments. Verbals don't count. As you see, kids be committed and going on buku hundreds and hundreds of visits, right? So it don't really matter. So we gonna thug this out to the end with Hussan Longstreet. I really like the kid. Like he dies, nice, but it's gonna be tough. It just, it just sucks that he already committed to Texas A and M. So it's like you might be a bad kid. You might he might be vulnerable to the bag thrown at him. You know what I'm saying? And if he if he committed to Texas A and M for the bag, I mean, and that's the only reason I could see anybody committing to texas a&m like they ain't developed they ain't put no quarterbacks in the nfl like that i mean i mean i think they had Tannehill. did they have ryan Tannehill and mazel but they program ain't like that so it's like if you go into texas a&m it's like you probably a bad kid they never win nothing it ain't like they got a great coaching situation. It ain't like, you know, it's rocking and rolling. It ain't like it, it's trending upward over there. Only thing over there is the bag. So if he's a bad kid, it might be too little too late. But I hope not. And I hope Lincoln Riley keep putting on the full press. I hope they keep flirting. I hope they keep getting to know this kid. And maybe we can win him over by signing. They still a whole 
season away from signing day. You know what I'm saying? You got the December signing day and you got one in February. So we still four or five months out. We still got time to win over. And four or five months in the recruiting world is a lifetime. It's like dog years. You know what I'm saying? So we got to put in that work. I really like Long Street. We, we, he should have been priority number one. Like, people got to understand, like, you got to put a fence around California. And the other recruits and everybody else got to understand that, too. Like, we got to lock down this local talent. So we still Long Street away from Texas A&M. We really going to be rocking and rolling. <laughs> this kid dice, man. But until then, it's Carter Sports. It's Trojan City. It's SC. So let's go.